Alright, Shalom. This is Howard One, Ban Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. Before I begin, I want to say Ka Halayim, La Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Ha Raka Kodash, Ma'amaf. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and their elders. And Shalom to you, Akim, and Nagwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. This is uh, Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones? Will ye love simplicity? All right. So simplicity goes into what? Foolishness. And the Lord said what? The wisdom of this world is foolishness. As a matter of fact, let's get there real quick. All right. This is the word uh, simpl simple. It says here, um, Proverbs 1 and 22. How long ye simple ones? It means silly ones. And, you know, foolish, open minded, right? Jake's mind is not sealed. Two-thirds, their mind has to be sealed. Instead, their mind is open, uh, take, uh, uh, moving after every wind of doctrine. All right? Or, or um, do as thou wilt. Or believing in their own heart. Right? Believing in fables. Lies. False doctrine. Religions. Idols. All right? False divinations. Now it says uh, to be open-minded, seducible. Look at that, silly or or naive. It says naive. Look at this. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? So they love, they love it. Two thirds love um, simplicity. Simplicity is the same word. Uh, pataya or patya. And it says, simplicity, naive, naivety. So being naive, man, which means to be what? Seducible. You see that? So let's get that real quick. All right, so that word seducible, it means to lead aside, to lead away. See that? So this world is pulling away from the Lord, and we're supposed to be getting closer to the Lord, man. Capable of being seduced. Um, it says to corrupt. To draw away. That's what this world is here for. The darkness is trying to draw you away from the light. See that? So to be seduced means to lead away. <clears throat> and that's where Eve was spiritually seduced. By the serpent who was a man in the garden. So today, the serpent is Esau. And the woman, you can look at as uh, Israel, you know. Of course, of course, our women are are, are seduced, are deceived, but it's on a on a bigger scale. It will represent the, the children of Israel that were led away uh, captive, you know, led away into sin. And today, two thirds are still being drawn away, the falling away. Right? Let's get this real quick. Uh, Proverbs 1 and 22 How long ye simple ones Will ye love simplicity That's right man um, That's what the Lord called them uh, Wandering stars To whom is reserved the blackness of night All right, We fell away But they stay in that darkness Seemingly like forever a shooting, Like a shooting star Courses through the night With no order no um, place to be set in place. All right, they, they're like blown away with every wind of doctrine. One day they, they're Christian, one day they're Muslim, one day they celebrating Halloween and these these uh, wicked folly days. Next day they believe what you're saying. The next day they like, now nah, I'm American. You know, we got to follow. Blind faith? No, we got to follow the Lord in faith. Believe in the scriptures. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? So they love this world. Let me get a precept. All right, so that simplicity goes into foolishness. So they love it. It says, um, 1 Corinthians 1 and 20. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? 
Where is the disputer of this world? Have not Yahweh made foolish the wisdom of this world? So the wisdom of this world created the money. The love of money is the root of all evil. See that? The, the money is just as it is. It's paper. It's printed unto Caesar what is Caesar's. They got some wicked symbols on it. But currency is currency. Um, whatever's in circulation, that's what currency means. Circle of currency. Circuit. But um, the, the wisdom of this world, everything that it created, you know, through man, that the Lord allowed man to create on the left-hand side, are uh, two thirds they lust they lust after it in all different forms you know diverse manners. It says for after that in the wisdom of Yahweh the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. So that's what this is about wisdom. You got two forms of wisdom. You got wisdom of this world which is darkness, and you got the, um, the wisdom of Yahweh which is the light that flows straight from Yahweh. So when you say seek wisdom, you want to seek that. All right, and have knowledge of wisdom, meaning the the um, the acknowledgement or the, um, the knowing that wisdom exists and the experience of wisdom, the taste of it. For after that, in the wisdom of Yahweh, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. It pleased Yahweh by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Man, so what we do is foolishness to to the world. But darkness is foolishness to us and to the Most High. So who's going to win? Yahweh. <laughs> and whoever's on his side. All right. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. So when they love, when the scriptures say they love simplicity, they love foolishness, man. They love, they love being wicked. First John 2 and 15. Love not the world. See that? Because the world is what? Foolishness. Neither the things that are there that are in the world right because through the wisdom of the world these things were created which is nothing but foolishness if any man loved the world the love of the father is not in him you get, get into your in it rap music you know your gangster rap music your kid drill music all these religions you know uh, being corrupt teaching false doctrine calling yourself an Israelite but still being reprobate like IUIC, Sakari, uh, what's their name? Um, the mother damn camps. ISUPK, HOI now. All right. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world, right? Trying to get money off this truth. All right. That goes into that as well. Loving this world more than the Father. Loving fame more than the Father. You know? Um, but then you got Jake loving this world too. In general. Two thirds. And the world passeth away. See, this world is passing away. And the fashion of this world is passing, is passing away. America. You know, Babylon. England. All these different nations where Israel is scattered at. You know, in, in this um, world order that Esau set in place, the devil. Um, the, and the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, see? Anything that you could lust over in this place is, is going to be gone, man. It's going to turn into dust. And the person that's chasing after it, they're going to be turning into dust, too. Yeah, you can get money in the society. You can even become rich. But you will most likely uh, share that money. And also, uh, you should still praise your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and go out and teach. All right? And the world passeth away and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of Yahweh abideth forever, man. So, so after the smoke is cleared and the storm is passed, the elect still going to be standing on their foundation. All right, that solid rock, Yahweh Shai. 2 Corinthians 11 and 3. All right, let's get this word. Um, it says, But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve 
to beguile means to what? To wholly seduce. To seduce wholly to deceive, man. So the serpent deceived Eve with that false doctrine. We don't want to be deceived by the foolishness of this world, by loving this world. All right? Living in darkness, falling victim to lies and our own misconception and our own uh, self-deception. You know? Or self-affliction by turning away from the Lord and being destroyed. So we don't want to be beguiled. We don't want to be uh, seduced a little bit or a lot of bit. <laughs> um, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted. See, we don't want our minds to be corrupted, man. Like two thirds are from the simplicity that is in your Howard Shad, man. So this truth is very simple. To understand if it's if you have the elect. All right, so let's get that um, some simplicity in the Greek. It says the singleness, man. Not following that the every wind of doctrine, different mindsets, different thoughts, philosophies, and all that. That's the worldly wisdom. That's the foolishness, and our people love it. Two thirds. Singleness, sincerity, without dissimulation or self-seeking. Right, man, you know, seeking your own fame and, uh, you know, um, what do you call that character in this world, which is most likely a demon. <laughs> you know, these people take on these different uh, characteristics and names, like Sasha Fierce, that's uh, Beyonce. She's a rapper. The Lord said we would rather be, we would rather be sages, man. A sage means a person that's known for wisdom. That's it. A person that's known for wisdom, not known for sports, not known for singing, not known for um, being a rapper and a gangster rap. <laughs> you know, so all these people are celebrated, celebratories for those uh, purposes. And those characters and egos that they created in this world which was ultimately leading the people away from Yahweh through their seduction, through their lust of this world and of wickedness and darkness. All right, through the music, all of that, pulling our people away from Yahweh day by day. It says self-seeking generosity bestowal, all right? Um, the virtue of one who is free from pretense and hypocrisy, man. Like Elder Apostle Gabar said earlier in his lesson, hypocrisy goes back to the word actors. Look at these people acting in this world, man. Look, think about it, Ja Rule. <laughs> yeah. You know they faking murder. Right? They got they got these acts that they putting on. Um, 21 Savage. All these people that actually kill so they can really become what they're talking about. Murderers. You have your father, the devil, the lust of their father, they shall do. Meaning their authority, who they follow after. Deception. All right, so let's get keep going. It says, um, so through the simplicity that is in your house shot. So now, second, uh, so now, uh, where was that? Let me get back to this real quick. That's right, man. So Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. So to please the father, you got to have faith that he exists, man. And faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Those that believe without seeing, man, that can see through the wall, that can see through the Red Sea, the dangers that lie ahead of us, that can see through the lies and the curtains of this world, man. It's like looking at Disney on the outside. You see all glitz and glamour and actors and shit and then you go behind the scenes everybody back to smoking cigarettes and on break fat out of shape arguing <laughs> what the hell happened to Disney that's America alright but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is man so believing that he is then you'll believe that he he exists and that's his name Yahweh you'll believe that he'll judge your ass too 
All right, you believe him. Uh, for he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, man. And that's a lot of people's problem. They don't believe that Yahweh even exists. They believe that there's a God, but they don't believe in him in spirit and in truth. He's seeking such to worship him in spirit and in truth, period. No other way around it. The truth. Well, how do you know the truth? Hey, you got to study to show yourself approved, a workman that should not be a shame. A shame. Searching the scriptures. All right. Studying to make it show yourself approved, man. Blessed are they that readeth. So the Lord will sup with you and advance you in his truth and in your confidence. He'll give you reason to have faith. Brother, see chariots. We see the proof in, in the history of how we got over here. If you trace it back, it traces us back to Jerusalem and us falling away in 70 AD. You can go on and on, man. The proof is there. But but a lot of Jake, you know, um, grew up in the ghetto and they think they know every goddamn thing. All right? Yeah, all of a sudden, when you try to teach them, they got a, they a damn scholar in history out of nowhere and shit. And they want to they play devil's advocate. Well, you're going to play just that. You act it. That's what the Lord going to look at you as. A damn devil. But without fear, without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, man. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And that's what he wants us to diligently seek him. Let's get that real quick. All right. To search out. That's what the word diligent means. Exit. Exetio, exetio in Greek, to search out, investigate, crave, demand. All right, to worship the Lord. This is our worship now, seeking the Lord. All right, so diligently, he said, "Go ahead, give diligence to make your calling and election sure." A constant seeking for your how about your was shy, getting closer and closer to the light. That seeking. Is going towards the Lord, repenting. All right, being seduced is to be distracted and and, and get pulled, guided, led away from Yahweh, led away from the light. Okay, but if, but if we um, seek the Lord, we're moving towards the Lord in the spirit of truth. All right, man. So they that love simplicity. All right, I mean they love foolishness. And it says here, 1 John 2 and 15, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. All right? Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And by loving this world, they love the foolishness of this world, the simplicity. Everything's in it and the lust of it. You know, but remember Daniel and Nebuchadnezzar in 605 BC, where they had him try to eat the king's meat, the food, that was the, the feast that he had laid out for him, uh, trying to beguile him, man. And it was abominable foods, and Daniel didn't need it. And he ate pulse instead, which led to uh, seeds, grain, and he was more healthier coming out of the prison or in the prison than anybody, anybody else that was in there that ate the king's uh, food. So we are the same way. We have not followed cunningly devised fable. We've eaten the word as the Lord has prescribed us to. All right, he said, eat the whole word, eat the whole roll. All right. So for all that is in the world and the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away in the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh abideth forever. Once again, right? Let's read. Now let's move on. All right. So we don't want to be uh, wholly seduced, right? So let's finish this one up. This is uh, Psalms 34 and 14. Depart from evil, man. So that, what's that? Departing from evil means to, to be a, to do an about face, immediate about face, turn 
uh, 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 fully around, man. All right. Um, that means what? To repent. All right. So depart from evil and do good, man. Doing good means keeping the laws to the best of your ability, teaching the good news and the truth, and, and also um, upholding the moral values that Yahweh Shai taught us in our everyday life as being an Israelite. Because a lot of things that Yahweh Shai taught us, you won't find in the laws. All right. So you have to have that spiritual compass as well, that moral value. Depart from evil and do good. Right, because that becomes your actions. Your actions tell who you are in, in life. Other than that, you're just standing still. But your actions is what creates the character. All right, so the character that we want to be it should be a reflection of the believers and of Yahweh Shah and of Yahweh. Seek peace, man. So seek righteousness. See that? Instead, they're seeking after fame, all these things that's in the world, or riches, power, whatever they want. And the devil right there offering it to him as he tried to offer it to Yahweh Shah. But Yahweh Shah rebuked him with scripture. And continued to do good and pursue it, man. So be on a hot pursuit of trying to be good. Trying to, he said, put it on as the elect of, the, of Yahweh, man. So stay in hot pursuit of this truth and, and investigating, watching, continuing to do your videos, continue believing, encouraging the Akim. You get persecuted, people come against you, so what? Continue to do good. The eyes of Yahweh are upon the righteous. See, the Lord is watching you. He said, the eyes of the Lord are upon the evil and the good. And his ears are open unto their cry, man. So the Lord is hearing you right now. Think about that. Doing all these things, the Lord will listen to you and hear you. The face of Yahweh is against them that do evil. We don't want that. To cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Shit. So it cut out the remembrance of a person out of the earth, man. The person dies, you got about, uh, you know, um, the children, then the grandchildren, then the great grandchildren. By then, the the, the great granddad is forgotten about. So he erased the person out of the earth. The remembrance of them. All right. And he did that with the nation of Israel. Look at the power Yahweh has, man. The righteous cry and Yahweh heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. So the one that do the ones that follow after righteousness and that's doing this thing correctly, then the Lord is going to deliver them out of all their troubles, man. Especially Jacob's troubles and the destruction. Yahweh is nigh. See, we want him to be near to us. And we want to be near to him. So we got to seek after him and pursue him. Yahweh is nigh unto them. That are of a broken heart, man. Meaning, feeling, um, feeling bad for the reproval that the Lord is doing, blaming us, and we feel bad about it, brokenhearted. All right. And save if such as be of a contrite spirit, man, of a repentant spirit, being willing and able to repent, turn away from the wickedness in this world, and turn back to Him, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And also Moses, man. All right. And all the prophets. And our king, Yahweh Shai. And his laws, which are righteous, man. And these people go against it. I don't want to be Israel. You don't want to, you want to be wicked. Keep the laws. No, I ain't, I ain't no Israelite, man. I ain't with that. You want to be wicked then. Everything outside of that is wickedness. Think about it. If you go through the laws and people that's going against the laws of Yahweh, they're in wickedness. They go against the truth. Then they believe in lies. So that's wickedness. All right. So the Lord is near you, near to you, man. If you're of that spirit, repenting and feel bad if, if you do something wrong towards the Lord. And you got to be of a contrite heart, spirit. It says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh deliver of him out of them all. So you're going to go through shit. But at the end of the day, the Lord is always going to leave a way of escape. And have you come out unscathed as long as you stick to him. 
all right? Don't stray away, go off into folly. Stop teaching, stop going to camp, stop doing your videos, stop keeping the laws, and all of a sudden some bullshit happened to you, and then you're like, oh, wait, 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 nah, you, you know? You gotta turn back to the Lord. I always tell people, man, that meet me in person, I say, hey, man, as far as you took to, lock, to walk away from the Lord, it's gonna take double that in strength to get back, seek him 10 times more, all right? So second, so they don't, you don't walk too far. <laughs> All right, we really want to abide up under his shadow. That means you close. You're like, yo, give me some breathing room. You know, we want to wear out his, uh, the doorsteps of the saints. Now, Second Timothy two and twenty four, and the servant of Yahweh must not strive. Right, we're not supposed to be out here fighting physically for the Lord's word. The Lord said, go out and fight the good fight of faith. Just teach him, man, what you believe in. It's faith. All right? Um, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, and patient, being ready to teach, man. All right? Be gentle unto all men. You know, uh, having, having a certain... Um, respect about you to where you're not out there fuck your babies and it's like come on man that's not representing Yahweh Shah man Yahweh Shah wasn't talking like that in meekness instructing so in meekness instructing those that oppose themselves man and that's that goes into our people two, th two thirds are opposing themselves afflicting themselves by turning from the Lord being destroyed if Yahweh peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledgement, acknowledging of the truth. So when you acknowledge the truth, that's when you repent. All right. And then you have to live your life and act it out. That repentance. Day by day, going glory to glory. Uh, the outward man perisheth, but day by day, the inward uh, man is renewed, man. Doing, becoming greater and greater and trust in the process alright and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will you see that so we got they're not recovered they're not freed from the snares of this world if they love this world and the simplicity of this world it's a mental um, snare or yoke Alright So now let's keep going It's talking about sin man Alright so I want to go through this real quick This was in my dream last this morning As I was waking up I had this um, Precepts was on my mind man It was like uh, He is not um, The Lord is nigh unto them um, That believe and of a contrite heart and that was in my mind you know uh, right and this precept here call upon him while he is near those two precepts was kept repeating in my mind this morning uh, and I was asleep so when I woke up they were still there so I was like hey let me just do this lesson real quick see where the spirit take me Proverbs 1 and 22 how long ye simple ones see foolish ones seducible, naive, will ye love simplicity? So they love the foolishness of this world, the, the wickedness of this world, the wisdom of this world, the things that were created from the, the dark minds of this world, man. They love it. And the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge, man. So they, they come against you, they play devil's advocates because they hate the truth. They hate the knowledge, the knowing of Yahweh Hashem Shai. They say, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Why? Because when someone's in the light, they get exposed. And they got to change their ways, man, once they acknowledge the truth. And some people, that's too hard for them to do. So the Lord going to fix them. Make them over, like Tina Turner said. All right, you're going to melt them. And then recreate a body for them in the kingdom as a baby. Give you a new start. It says, turn you at my reproof. So you're supposed to turn. What's the word turn? It mean to turn back. Repent means to turn back. You go in one direction, 
stiff neck. I'm going this way. And the Lord said, no, you better do an about face and come back to him because it's destruction that way. And when you walk towards Yahweh, you better not look back. Remember Lot's wife. She ended up being salty. <laughs> Tearing you at my reproof. All right. So the reproof comes from the prophets out here teaching. Proverbs 1, wisdom cried without in the streets. And also in Job, it speaks about the unicorn all over the Internet. So on YouTube. All right. Not just YouTube, other social media platforms, too, man. So turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, man. So the Lord is saying he pouring out his spirit. But two thirds of our people are still spiritually dead. They remain in the congregation of the dead and they're missing the opportunity that's being presented to them because they're asleep. And I will make known my words unto you if you have the elect. And they don't want it. They push it away like a, like they full already. Like you're giving them a plate and they just push it away like a baby that don't want to eat the vegetables. Because I have called. So many are called, but few going to be chosen. And ye refuse, man. See? Some have answered the call and they're still not going to be chosen. It's about the elect. But a lot, you know, most of the world has, uh, of, of Israel, the Israelites have been called, yet they refuse, man. You know, I have stressed out my hand and no man regarded. So the Lord said he stretched out his hand all the day long. He's stretching out his hand, talking about Yahweh Shai. He sent Yahweh Shai, man. And now he's sending his elect, which are the fingers. And we had that stressed out hand. Not a stressed out fist like some Jake like to be punching somebody in the face. But it's supposed to be a stressed out hand of opportunity, of grace to our people. Um, I have stressed out my hand and no man regard it, man. They don't want to regard it. You'd be right in front of their face. That's why the Lord said that. Then shall it be known that there was a prophet among them, man. They're going to know it. Most high going to make they know it. Make sure they know it. But it's going to be too late for them. All right. But ye have said it not all my counsel. And with none of my reproof. Right. Because the Lord has a heavenly Sanhedrin or council on this earth. That's going to be taken up into the heavens and become a heavenly council. But right now we're on upon this earth. He said, with two, two or three are gathered in his name, he's in the midst. And he's gathering us together through the spirit of truth. His spirit, it have gathered them. And I will, it says what? So, and they would none of my reproof, man. So anything you blame Jake on from Yahweh by Hashem, I was shy in the scriptures, they get mad at you for it. All right. And they get mad at the Lord. They get mad at the, the truth. And it's like trying to wake them up out of a deep, wet dream they having of America and shit. And you wake them up, and, they, and you got that light in their face. <laughs> hey, wake up, man. You know, the bridegroom's coming. We got to go out and meet them. You got that lamp, that bright, you know, trimmed and shining in their face. And they like, ah, right, get that shit out of here. <laughs> I want to go back to sleep. They want to sleep in the Matrix. What they say in the Matrix when he was eating the food, the movie The Matrix. Uh, he said, ignorance is bliss. See, they want to stay in that blissfulness of bitterness in America. Waddling in the mud, thinking that shit is a jacuzzi. Eating shit, thinking it's apple pie. You know, GMO foods, false doctrine. Yeah, all right. Um, the system of this world that they pushing is new world order. These people fall for it, man. Satanic agenda. I never seen so many damn devil horns in my life, man. You look at the old movies, you may see it here and there. People throwing up the devil hand, but that shit everywhere now. Everywhere. God, Lee. This is truly hell on earth, man. So it says here, um, I will also laugh at your calamity. Yeah, it's funny right now, the people. They laugh and they mock us. 
especially when we ain't around. Or they try to make it uh, an example out of you in front of people and try to embarrass you, but we don't care about embarrassment. We are fools for your house shot's sake. All right? Be faithful unto death. I don't care if somebody threaten you with, with threaten us with death, man. Uh, we pray for the Lord to strengthen and increase our faith, man. And remember, the Lord said he'll deliver us out of all our troubles, uh, ultimately. I will also laugh when, when you, at your calamity, and I will mock when your fear cometh. What's their fear? They see World War Three creeping up. They see the dollar crash. They see that they're about to lose everything in food. So the Lord going to laugh at them and mock them in that day. He's going to laugh through us. And he's going to mock them through us. When your fear cometh as a desolation. See, that's what it's going to be. The desolation that's coming, that's really their fear deep down. All these people you walking past, they walking on a hot plate and they know it. And they don't want to hear you talk about it. The main thing people don't want to talk about is what? The Bible and the news. They go hand in hand. The news goes with watching the things going on around the world, north, east, west, and south. All right? And um, the scriptures is the true news. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. There's some ICBM missiles. That's when the Lord going to laugh. <laughs> That's when he going to get his laugh. He waiting. He prophesied um, a moment when he's going to laugh. That's how he, po you know, he powerful. He's like, this is going to happen. And I'm going to laugh on this day. And Yahweh was the only one that could do that. Other than that, we ought to say Yahweh willing. But he's the only one that can say something going to happen and it happened. He said, I will be laughing at you, these damn idiots. All right. Once the anguish comes upon them, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. It's going to be too late because they had a chance to find the Lord. The door of repentance is open. I mean, to turn it back to him. And they don't want to seek him. Instead, they're chasing after this folly. And when they when they get to the where they're trying to whatever destination they're trying to reach, the Lord said, the ventures shall fail. And the visions. You know, and um, Esau's, um, what do you say, he causes his, uh, I can't think of the word right now. Basically, all their plans, they, they, uh, the Lord going to stop it from coming to pass. All right. The word, the word is slipping. Uh, I can't think of the word right now. So then shall they call upon the Lord, man. But I will not answer. They're going to be calling them all kind of false names. Even if they call on his name, if they haven't been acting right and living correctly according to him and seeking him, they're not going to be close to him. They're going to be close to the world. And by the time they get to what they were seeking after, they're going to realize it was a mirage and they're in the desert. This is nothing but a mirage, man. Right, this current system that's on the earth, not just America. All these characters that's been built up in these governments. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, man. See that? And they pain and they distress. That's when they're going to try to seek the Lord quick, too. I remember oh, his name, Yahweh. Yahweh? He's like, nah, I ain't dealing with you, man to hell for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh okay they would none of my counsel they despised all my reproof therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices their own imaginations and they gonna get filled with that device too <laughs> literally but whoso hearkeneth unto me, wow, shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Look at that. Call Halayim lay how about Shimei was shy. So seek the, seek the Lord while he may be found, while the door of repentance is open, uh, hastening the day, investigating, seeking diligently. Right? 
intensely moving towards the light, moving towards Yahweh's presence to get away from the darkness, to get under his shadow, to be protected, man. And that goes from goes to through uh, repentance and through Yahweh Shai to get to Yahweh to, to, from the protection to get to the protection of Yahweh. All right. So instead, two thirds. Uh, it says scriptures say death shall be chosen rather than life, and it's going to be by two thirds. They're going to choose death instead of life. This is Isaiah fifty-five and six. It says seek. Ye Yahweh, while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. All right, so the Lord said that he's near to a contrite spirit, meaning uh, a contrite heart, meaning a repentant heart is willing to turn back to the Lord. So the Lord will be near unto you. All right, don't, don't, you know, that's why he says, seek him early while he may be found. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, man. And let him return, that means to repent, unto Yahweh. And he will have mercy upon him and to our power, our God. So turn to our God, for he will abundantly pardon, man, all of the elect. He's going to pardon us. All right, so with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom. But a hopeful elect, shall we